Welcome everyone to the channel, how you all doing? Hope you all doing well. So guys, before we get started on this uh, pass to you, don't forget to hit that like, comment, share and subscribe please. Uh, we've lost a couple of subscribers this month, but quite frankly I was expecting it. So yeah, I'm doing another pass to you or pass to developers or anything or something like that. It's basically not anything that gets passed to developers or anything. It's just I do research and I go see what unique vehicles that I would like to see in the game. Now, if you can see this vehicle on the screen, it's not that much of unique, but it is unique in a way when I get into the history of it and all of that. Might be a bit of controversy about it, but I don't really care about the the rules of there needs to be production variants and blah, I need you to see, I don't care about those rules. This is something I came across and I thought it was unique. And I think it could be useful in the Italian tech tree. So guys, what are we looking at? Let me just get you a bit of a better picture. Uh, yeah, this is quite a nice picture. Nah, it's a bit of a crappy picture, but there you can see. What's it starting to look like? Now I can hear you guys sitting there saying, oh, it's a panther. It's a panther. No, guys, it's not a panther. Um, there's a picture from behind. There's a picture from the front. There's a nice picture. It's not a panther. It is the 44M TAS, TOS. It's a Hungarian tank that they started developing in 19, 1943. Two prototypes were built of it. But let me just get into a bit of this before we get into the the T uh, the, the 44M TAS was a Hungarian medium tank. It was developed to combat heavy armored Soviet tanks on the Eastern Front to replace the older Taran 1 and Taran 2 um, oh this um the T4 uh why do I keep the 44M somewhat resembled the German Panther tank in both looks and capacity they did want to buy originally the Panther blueprints from Germany but the Germans sniffed at it so the Hungarians decided well we see what it looks like. Let's design something along those lines. But they put their own little twists onto it. So, getting into the history of the vehicle, it's um, classified at that time, and now it's a mixture between a medium and heavy tank. Um, design was 1943. Manufacturers Mal uh, Manfred Wurzel Works. Uh, 1943 to 1944 production. Two prototypes were built. Physically, two prototypes were built, guys. Two, two. Uh, it was 38 tons of mass. Length was 9.2 meters uh, with gun forward. Three point width, width was 3.5 meters. Height was 3 meters at a crew of five. So it was a, a driver, gunner, commander, a loader, and a tent on a radio operator or an assistant driver. Um, yeah. Okay, so we read through that. We'll get through more now. There's a nice little picture that I could find. That's what it would have looked like. You can see it's got a bit of resemblance, but resemblance to the, the Panther, but you can see it's also its own unique design. You can see there's a lot Panther looking, but there, I say, this is where it starts changing. You can see a slight different from... Uh, sorry, I don't know why. I don't know why these picture is up there. Sorry about that, guys. And then I've got another little picture for you that I want to show. It's a very nice looking tank. Um, there you can see another picture. This was another variant that they were building. It was a tank destroyer based on the chassis of the 44M. Okay. So. Let's just go back. That, that's a nice picture of the tank. I like the tank destroyer. But uh, it's pretty similar to what the main production vehicle was. The armor was between 50 to 100 millimeters thick. It was using uh, 80 millimeter, 29 stroke, 38 M Bowforce AA cannon modified for anti tank use, or it would have used the 7.5 centimeter. 43 m tank gun so the 7.5 centimeter would have been a 75 millimeter gun that it would have used i'm guessing it would be something that the germans used that they got production rights on 
Uh, second armament was uh, times two, 34 stroke 40 M M's. Don't know what the M is for, but M, eight millimeter machine guns, BB guns, basically, guys. Um, and it used a gasoline Manfred Wessels Z engine, uh, two, two times 260 HP, two times 195 kilowatt, which gives a total of 520 HP or 390 kilowatts. A uh, power to weight was 13.68 HP per ton, which is not too bad for, for, for the size of this tank. Um, I never got the precise weight of the tank. Sorry, guys. Okay, suspension was a two-wheel leaf spring bogey with shop absorbers. So normal dead standard uh, um, suspension. Top speed was, uh, range was 200 kilometers, which is not bad. I'm not sure what the Panthers was. Um, max speed, I'm guessing this is on paved roads, was 45 kilometers an hour. So it's not going to be the fastest tank, but I can imagine 250 mils of armor in front and 50 on the sides. And that. It would be quite a nice tank. So yeah, guys, um, that's what I present this week, or what I, th what I thought I would find. Um, I was browsing around for a long time looking for something interesting. And don't forget, this is the 44M TUS, T-A-S, TUS. Go have a look, go search it up, quite interesting. Never knew the Hungarians, the Hungarians made such unique and quite a few vehicles. So yeah, I think I'll use this as the thumbnail. So guys, keep well. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.